So uh, YouTube is going to be adopting some new guidelines, some new policies that's going to make it a little bit more difficult to monetize your content. And it's uh, the announcement was just in time for me to start creating content. Well, if you know me personally, you'll know that I've actually been creating content since 2010. Most of which I have unlisted for quality control, but plan to make public again in the future. And so, back to the subject matter at hand. Your channel is going to have to be bigger here come February 20th in order to monetize your content. And I don't fall into that category very obviously. Just recently I hit 80 subscribers. All of you are awesome. So uh, that's averaging about uh, one, <clears throat> 10 subscribers every year since I started making videos. Well, it wasn't until this past June I started seriously creating content on YouTube. I don't know why I have my earbuds on. I'm not using them. <clears throat> so, you may or may not have been in the loop about how YouTube has been uh, hmm, silencing unpopular opinions. Uh, I just got done uh, making that video where I piggyback off of uh, TJ Kirk. And so uh, if you're a fan of him, you'll know that uh, in the past, his username was The Amazing Atheist. And uh, long story short, okay, there's a little bit more to it, to it than what I'm about to say, but long story short, he had to uh, change his username because it was offensive. Well, this was a side effect of uh, YouTube having to deal with these channels whose views and subs were below most, okay, or pardon me, whose quality was below most whose, and whose views and subs were pretty much none, but were somehow able to monetize content even though they were creating very hateful content and that freaked out advertisers and YouTube didn't like that. Well, these new changes are going to deter that. All right. I mean, I made that video uh, piggybacking off of TJ Kirk's video and TJ Kirk, he really rips YouTube for these new changes. I mean, I don't remember him saying anything positive about these new changes. But even though I did piggyback off that video, and by the way, did I mention that I piggyback off, pig, piggybacked off that video? Even though I piggybacked off that video, I actually don't all that much agree with uh, everything that he had to say. I mean, I'm still very much a fan of his channel. But I have to disagree that, this, uh, that these changes are... I disagree to the notion that these changes are more bad than good. And by the way... It is, while it is a little disappointing that the monetization of my videos is going to turn out to be not as close in the near future as I would have liked for it to have been anymore, that does not mean I'm going to stop making content. I was not here to make money originally. I don't plan on making any money off of my channel for the next few years. I, my goal was to um, perhaps be able to do that sometime afterward. But uh, you can uh, expect for me to be around regardless of how much money I make. And then uh, just one um, other tidbit that uh, I've been meaning to, meaning to mention. I had been using this widget during my live streams to show the most recent subscriber. And whenever I used that widget, it automatically posted a link in the, the, in the descriptions of my live streams 
to uh, my uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the the name of the widget uh, is uh, stream labels and the uh, widget posted a link to my stream labels uh, user account so to speak and from there uh, you could donate to my channel but I'm not taking donations I probably should have started out started off with that I wanted to make it clear I'm not taking any types of donations I'm not doing a patreon nothing like that I don't plan on making any money I do this for the love not the money or at least money comes second money I don't expect for quite a while as I said I'm toxic wild hog